we've got, I guess we should talk about the, what, what was the main stories here? Oh, Streamies? the Yeah, okay, and then the vloggers. Let's talk about that. The I vloggers. Hear about that. Okay. I haven't read anything, so I'm dying to hear the story. So I had not heard of, I think maybe we talked about her a while ago because she was doing some fucked up shit. We thought we had, and then we realized it was another family no. vlogger. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like uh, I never heard the name with. Eight Passengers. Yeah. No, there, there's a clip of her saying, like, uh, my son lost his bedroom privileges for six months. And I'm oh, pretty yes, sure we watched that, that on the show. Oh, yeah. oh, I do remember okay. that. Because at first I thought it was the lady who teed her son up to cry That's in what the video. I thought. Oh, no, 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 this is different. Yeah. Totally different person. It's a different yeah. blonde vlogger mom. <laughs> Far worse. And actually. what we found yeah. out is that though this wasn't really on our radar, uh, like some of the other family vlog channels are, it very much was on a lot of, like, there was like people, there was watchdogs following this channel because mm -hmm. they knew something yeah. Awful was going on here. Swoop has a super long video detailing them oh, really? within this past yeah, when's year. When's that interview drop room? I want that she interview, girl. She posted today. I know. She posted today, like, the link to this, because she was like, I'm finishing the Josh edit right now, but as of right now, watch this documentary I, I made on them. I need the Josh interview, Swoop. Do I do, need do. it as well. Swoop, I'm so there excited. there it is. <laughs> Swoop, there I it is. Need, come on, yeah, come on. I want the truth. <clears throat> Swoop's going to give the truth. So this is her, and she is just a villainous fucking, like, like when you hear about s people who become serial killers, they have moms like her. Mm. Mm. That's basically how I could describe her. And uh, of course, what's the chosen profession? Family vlogger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is something that we always say needs regulation is actually sick, immoral by the very act of it existing without oversight or anything? Family vloggers. Yeah. Why is nobody regulating this? I don't know. They're starting to. Remember, we talked about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah Illinois. New something. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube should care. I don't. Right. I know they don't. Like, I know it's easy to say, but shouldn't they care? Like, there's been enough of these, man. Family vloggers? Why are we enabling these fucking freaks to farm cash off their abused children, man? I think it's just such a, uh, I don't know. It's, it's such a blurry line, which is the problem. But, like... I mean, obviously this content is not for me. I don't watch family vlog channels. I have to imagine that there are plenty out there that are wholesome and fairly innocent. You, you know just don't I mean? know, it's though. It's just, uh... But, but... Yeah, there's some good cops, too. There's just too <laughs> right, much of a right. gray area. Yeah, I agree. That, you know, that point doesn't even really matter. Yeah, but just I'm thinking from YouTube's perspective yeah. of, like, you know, this these are big channels. They're generating a lot of traffic, a lot of revenue. That's that's how they I always just, look at I, it. I'm not saying, like, ban them. I think them. they're, pro from YouTube point of view, they're probably just thinking it's not our responsibility, so somebody yeah. else should deal with it. Yeah, that, gener that usually you know, is their point of view. I remember a long time ago, YouTube was like, we're standing up for fair use. And now when creators get sued for fair use, we're going to help pay for their legal fees. I don't believe they ever did a single fucking mm. thing for that. Huh. Where's my legal fees, well, fuckers? <laughs> we've learned that we wanted to do that too. And it's quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so let me take you through what actually happened here with Passengers of Five. By the way, or past Eight Passengers, which by the way, <laughs> the name itself is a little... Yeah. Eight Passengers? <laughs> well, you just... It sounds like a, it sounds like when they announced like how many people died in a crash. <laughs> <laughs> there were eight passengers aboard, right. and uh, yeah, no, yeah. nobody survived. It is very removed. It makes me think of eight personalities. <laughs> eight personalities. Eight cycle. Like Dexter Morgan had his dark passenger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. She's got eight. Oh, there's eight <laughs> passengers in her psyche. Right. Yeah. Oh, I like that actually. <laughs> He's fucked. She got eight. <laughs> So, uh, they're Mormon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great. <laughs> they're Mormons from Utah. Easy. Great. I mean, yeah. dude, I've seen, I've watched a lot of Mormon fucked Listen, up Listen, I've yeah. watched Salt Lake City Housewives. <laughs> I saw a documentary about I murder. I know a lot about them, though. <laughs> murder in the Mormon Church is a Netflix documentary. Right. It's crazy. Yes. Dude, the, Mormon, the Mormons get up some weird shit in their secret chambers. Mm -hmm. They have secret chambers where they do their underpants ceremonies. And they do weird shit there, bro. Have you ever seen the videos from those? It's so no. creepy yeah, and weird. It's so bizarre. Somebody uh, did a under cam, secret cam into the 
the secret chambers of the Mormon church. Yeah. It's very odd. Mm. It's very, very odd. Because, like, what they do in the deep inner circle is very different than what they project outwardly. Mm -hmm. It's very secretive and very different. Kind of like Scientology was, in a Mm. way. And uh, if you're offended by that, just remember that it's not really that different from your uh, religion. Oh, God, stop being an edgy atheist, dude, then. (laughs) (laughs) But, I mean, you know. Believe in God. I'm not here to convince you there's no God, okay? Do your thing. Believe in God. Yeah, believe in God. I'm I Yeah, we're here to convince God you. God did. I, God did. Well, <laughs> listen, follow this story, and then you'll, you'll stop believing in God real fast. According to records from Washington County God Sheriff, did. Ruby was arrested under suspicion of two counts of intentional aver- aggravated child abuse. Her husband was also arrested for the same thing. No, no, her business partner. Oh, business partner, yeah. Jody. That's the girl she did the podcast with? Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. So they arrested her business partner, who I'll introduce later. Mm-hmm. As of right now, her hus- they don't know if her husband was involved or not. Yeah. He's pro- if, based on what I'm saying, he's probably just a victim of hers, too. Oh, okay. She's like really? a real Is sucky that, bitch. Is that crazy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was reported... Okay, this is... I guess this is probably triggering, so... Trigger warning. It's not super graphic. It's just really disturbing. Okay. It was reported that a child climbed out of Jody's home window and ran to neighbors for help. Oh, wow. Jesus. The child asked the neighbor for food and water. The child also had uh, duct tape wrapped around their wrist and ankles. What the fucking... A fuck? YouTube family vlogger? Yeah. 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 No way. Yeah. That's what the fuck's going on here. Wow. The neighbor also noticed that the child was malnourished, emancipated, and had op- uh, emaciated and had open wounds. Needed to be uh. emancipated. This yeah. is straight up like horror movie stuff. Like Dateline shit. Dateline, yeah. Probably will be in. So, like, yeah. Uh, after the child was taken to the hospital, another child was recovered from the home and also needed uh, medical care. What? The family vlogging channel, eight passengers, they had 2.5 million subs. Wow, that's crazy. But it was taken offline earlier this year for unknown reasons. And I'd like to know, it's something had to be going down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's these, these clips under this uh, number. A lot of people started criticizing them when they started picking up on these things. Mm-hmm. And after a few more instances, um, it was just vanished like their channel just vanished so what happened were they punished did they leave were they getting like probably child protective services checking in on them yeah they may have gotten cc uh ccp (laughs) uh protective services show up at their house and freaked out and wanted to like delete the evidence or something well who maybe youtube took it off um the thing is, like, and as far as I can tell, this is their primary source of income, and that's what's so fucked up about this. You, were, you She's depending on her kids mm-hmm. for income. That's mm-hmm. just perverted, you know? So mm-hmm. the channel goes offline, and then she start, goes, you know, ballistic on her kids. The, the very nature of the relationship is does not make sense. I'm sorry. The family vlogging is fucked by default. I don't care yeah. how wholesome the family is. You're using your kids. My problem is that the kids cannot fully consent because they don't really know the meaning of it long yeah. term for their whole life. Well, would you say the same thing about kids in Hollywood movies? Maybe. The majority of which do get fucked up, by the way, it seems like. Yeah, I, I might, they have I might say the same thing about them, yeah. I think that there is an argument to be made for that. At least in Hollywood, there are years of these cases of severe abuse that have, have led to regulation. And also when it comes to that, there is still, I mean, obviously a parent can still kind of like manipulate their kid into it, but there's, I think that there is an important distinction between going through an audition process, going to a set, a professional setting and shooting something versus having every moment of your life at home. At home. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's that mixture of home. There is yeah. no boundary whatsoever. There's no boundary, which I think that's, that's what makes it particularly nefarious, uh, yes. nasty thing to do to your kids, man. Um, so here is previous clips that surfaced, I guess, when people started noticing something was off about this family. And, uh, here's a, I think we, we may have watched these at the time, but this was a couple years ago. So here is, uh, the lady, the mom. 
Let me turn up the quality. Why is it so low? Or is this just the I think, well, because these are re-uploads. Yeah, probably. because the channel was taken down. So yeah. these are like compilations that people had made of re-uploads. Mm -hmm. um, so, so here she is. Yeah. Eve did not pack a lunch today. And can I bring a lunch over to the school? She's this Eve happens six. quite often. Six years old. She's talking about her daughter. Then when you're having raising children, um, because I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch. And it would ease her discomfort if I came to the school with a lunch. Um, but I, I responded and just said, Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning. And she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. And hopefully, hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch. Uh -huh. Can I explain the... By the my, dude, my parents did the same shit to me. Really? But they weren't like, nobody feed him. <laughs> my parents, dude, they, they sent me out on my own so early. But there six? was food. Yeah, probably, no, they didn't do it at six. What's six? Like first grade, kindergarten? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they didn't. Yeah. They didn't cut me loose that early. It's more like in middle school. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine your be your beautiful, precious six year old? She's it's that's off, right? It's pretty off. Pretty off. It's very off. Yeah. What is this? There's a whole worst moments compilation. Seven. Yeah, the two I linked are the most damning. Okay, so there's that one. Uh, which is like, damn, so callous to your, to your poor child. Jeez, man. I guess this is probably her. She's very young. Yeah. That's sad. I bet. Here's this, here's this one, too. And they put, remember, she, this shit was so normalized that she thought this was fine to share. Right. It was taken away for seven months, and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. Yes, I, I do remember this clip. Know. Yeah. <laughs> you were sleeping on a beanbag. I was sleeping on a beanbag since October. <laughs> and they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Oh, I'll give yeah. you the reason why I lost my bedroom. I think so. I think there's a reason. At least this is the reason that's been in my head. It's pretty funny, but now that I look back, I mean, it's pretty depressing. No, we never told our viewers. That I woke Russell up at 2 in the morning and told him that we're going to Disneyland and he has to pack. <laughs> <laughs> and he got up and made his bed all neatly and then packed all his clothes in a suitcase. And then he walked out the door and I'm like, Russell, and he's like, what? And he's all happy. <laughs> has his sunglasses on. Do you think it's... She took his room away for seven months uh -huh. for doing a... Admittedly mean prank on his little bro, but not that crazy. You know, that's just brother shit. Funny because... And then I walked out. And... If you think it's funny, then you... That was seven months ago. Maybe you need longer without a bedroom. It... No, it was not funny. That's insane. <laughs> Russell got the big bedroom and Chai got the, the smaller bedroom. Smaller. And Russell's bigger bedroom also had a bathroom. But what you guys didn't know was <laughs> Chad didn't get any room. Mm -hmm. He didn't. He didn't get anything. He was sleeping on the floor in the family room. Abby, we took the phone cool. away from Abby. Seven months. Um, what is it? A piece of hardware or cable or what? We're not exactly it's... sure. We're back. Yeah, you're good. I think. Oh, excuse me. So here she is. I guess uh, bragging about how she. Punishes her kids in November, oh, and and you may you may never get the phone back. Probably not. No, I don't know. So there's little things, you know. Yeah. Although, very much the tip of the iceberg in terms of what really? she's actually capable. Like you could see that and be like, these people are dysfunctional as shit. Mm, yeah. But I would never dream that it was actually as bad as it was from those two clips. Uh, in 2020. Frank announced that she'd be starting a new channel with her business partner, Jody, who's a therapist called Connie Zions. And now, again, this is the other girl who was arrested for child abuse. Mm. Her business partner, the therapist. Oh, God, it just got her. Wait, this was up the other day. When did it yeah, get? Yeah, the channel was taken down yesterday. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Do we have any re-uploads or anything? Yes, right here. Uh, some label this therapy mommy support group as a cult because it teaches, uh, has been labeled, 
as a cult because its teachings have been labeled as damaging, extreme, and hurtful. One example is they teach that children should not be loved unconditionally and that kids do not deserve privacy from their parents. Oh, that's an interesting take. Kids do not deserve <laughs> unconditional love. Wow. That's crazy. Well, yeah, no, I'll tell no you what. Inspirational. Yeah, of course your kids you fucking hate get... you and you hate your kids when that's your attitude. I owe you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, is this the right link? Why well, have so many kids when you hate them? You don't get personal space. That is one. That is one of the question, you know, and and I think it's just cruelty. Mm -hmm. She just likes having these little toys, slaves, power. It's really, really pathological. Because this is my space. Because I'm the parent. Let me go back a little bit. You don't get personal space. Because this is my space. Because I'm the parent. If you want your own personal space, you'll need to get your own space. This is mine. And what does that mean? Buy a house to an eight-year-old? As long as you're living in my home, it is my job to know everything about you. You don't get to sneak. You don't get to hide. You don't get to have secrets. Not in my house. Do you see how loving that is? There was a time. I'll find a, I'll find a photo I had just had. And again, she's putting this out there like, I'm the yeah. I'm a good mom. Russell and Julie was just crying a lot and whiny. And, and one day I looked at her and I'm like, you just stink. She had like peed her pants or something. And she it's just because she was being neglected because I was totally paying attention to the new baby. Oh my mm. God. What? What? You're not. That's. What? Dude, that's really fucked. Yeah. Um, but no, do you have any up re-uploads of their channel she had with the, the therapist? Um, the channel that was removed. Before it was taken down. I didn't grab anything. Let me see if I can grab. Funny that Zion. was part of their teachings. So I have a whole Google Doc that go. the eldest daughter put together with fans to help prove the abuse. Oh, so the eldest daughter, is she someone in this photo? Or is she like gone? Uh, I'm guessing she's in this photo. Let, let me see. Uh... The eldest daughter of the family posted on Instagram stories praising and thanking law enforcement for finally stepping in. Mm. Um, apparently they were trying to get someone to help them for a, a long time. Wow. Uh, here is a document that she compiled. Yes, she's on the far right of that photo. Oh, this mm. is her. Okay. Yeah, in the orange jacket. Allegedly, this was started Allegedly, by her. Allegedly, this is her. This uh, doc was started by her, but that's what I'm seeing. Um. So she. So is this what she posted on on her Instagram story? Yes. Okay, so it's not really alleged. She posted it to her story. Right. Oh, I think you're talking about the Google. I'm just talking about, about the doc. doc. Yeah. Aspect. I'm just it. finding out about the doc right now. Okay, so yeah. here's this. Okay, here's her stories. Uh, that the eldest daughter. She says, finally. Can you imagine? Mm. Wow. It's so sad. That's Hi, crazy. all. Today has been a big day. Me and my family are so glad justice is being served. We've been trying to tell the police and CPS for years about this. Wow. So glad they finally decided to step Why up. Why would they take so long? The system is broken. I can't I mean, how do long. you... If you really have an evil fucking witch of a, of a mom... Yeah. Like, I gotta assume that she's can be pretty deceptive about all that stuff. Right. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. But at the, I don't know. I, I would have to know the details of like yeah. who did they, who did they talk to, how many times did they complain? Yeah. Because yeah. if you it's have just, like a few complaints from the kids, then like you need to look into that more. The verbiage of finally decided to step up makes me think that it took them a second to care. I have no problem believing that uh, the police are incompetent fucking yeah. losers mm -hmm. that don't care about anything. The kids are safe, but there's a long road ahead. Please keep them in your prayers and also respect their privacy. I need your help. If you have links to any questionable or concerning connections or eight passengers videos, please DM them to me. Too much for me to sort through myself. More specifically, connection stuff. We are aware of most of the eight passenger things already. I don't really know what that is This about. is the podcast with her freak... Okay. Partner that was arrested, who's a therapist. Okay. 
Um, that's a shame. I was just looking at that channel. Huh. I wonder if it was YouTube or them that removed it. Probably them. So here's the here's the document. God damn. It's really well organized. If you scroll down, it's there's columns of what channel it was on, what occurred in the video. Is this safe to show to so many people? Mm. If if people can just go in there and edit it, probably not best to blast it. Oh yeah, definitely it. not. If it's editable. Well, if maybe hopefully you need permission or something. Why do we have? How, do we have permissions? To edit it, I'll check just mm. to know if or not. Every time I open it, it closes though. I'm not sure what's going on with it. Mm, that's weird. Just force closes the browser. Yeah, a lot of people agree and also confirm from personal experience that parents like this can be super deceiving and yeah. manipulative and like. I mean, they're sociopaths. Yeah. That's what they do. That's what they're good at. So it's hard to get out of that. Uh, it's freezing on me now too. Is some tools may be unavailable due to high traffic? Well, if there's anything interesting in there, just pull it. Yeah. You know. Ruby's sister, Bonnie, posted a video on YouTube where she says, It feels like a weight has been lifted as we now know our nieces and nephews are safe. That video has also been taken offline for unknown reasons. Hmm. Ruby's siblings posted this joint statement on their Instagram this morning. Jeez. For the last three years, we have kept quiet on the subject of our sister Ruby Frank, for the sake of her children. Behind the public scene, we have done everything we could to try and make sure the kids were safe. We wouldn't feel right about moving forward with regular content without addressing the most recent events. Wait, are they also content creators? <laughs> Looks oh, like they are. That's what it sounds like. It... They yes. are, definitely. Maybe it's a- maybe it's just take that as a sign to mm -hmm. get a yeah. new fucking job. Yeah, they should stop. You know what I mean? We want to feel right about moving forward with regular content without addressing the most recent events. Once we do, we will not be commenting on it further. Oh, that's good for you. Ruby was arrested, which needed to happen. Jody was arrested, which needed to happen. The kids are now safe, which is the number one priority. This statement's a little sus. Yeah. A little convenient. And again, I don't know this, the particulars, so this is just my opinion here. She says, for the last three um, years, we have kept quiet on the subject. Is that it, implying that they knew? And they, yeah. Did they, like, collab? Were they doing cross collabs and shit? The um, chat is saying that the whole family is vloggers, so... See, that's fucking... Mm, that's not... You guys, gotta, you guys gotta give that up. It's time to move on. So this is her sister. It looks like her. This was from two days ago. Well, our plan was to do a podcast today, but little Miss June slept until 11, and I decided to do laundry instead. Leave your podcast request below, and we will start knocking them out. She slept till 11? <laughs> That's unusual. For a baby. So, I, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. Yo, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? What? Oh. Y'all are mean. I didn't say anything. Oh. I didn't say a damn thing. The baby is precious. She is so oh. beautiful. My God. Perfect angel. Sorry. Love that. Beautiful smile. So does she have other sisters that also make content? So apparently, that's what it sounds like. Okay, so here's her one sister who's like, uh-uh. We ain't got nothing to do with them. Yeah. My family vlogs the good one. <laughs> I love him. He's That's, my fave. He looks like the LeBrant dude. He does. Yeah. It's the Jays. I bet they're super religious too, huh? They're yeah. like super Christian. Mormon. Oh yeah, they're Mormon, so they are yeah. super religious. Yeah. Adult incest. Oh yeah, that totally jives. Mm -hmm. They've got a Mormon glaze. Yeah. Like the, the Mormons. <laughs> well, I've like learned about it from plastic. Housewives. <laughs> They, they strive the to look perfect. Yeah, that's part of like their thing. What's your argument? You can tell there's like a sheen, like their eyes are just... They, it's, just gl it's really important every, for them to look perfect. It's just like... Uh, <laughs> oh, it's just like saran wrapped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a, it's a Mormon, it's the Mormon glaze. You'll, you'll see it. You'll know it when you see it. You'll notice I know now. exactly what you're talking about. I do too. Yeah, yeah no, I, I get eyes. it. I know what you They're mean. They're sparkly. Okay. They Dude. both got it. He literally looks like he could be the, Le the LeBron dude's brother. 
They might know each other's shit. You never know. Small world in the family blogging world. Brother and sister want to make love? Okay. Dennis, please. And then they got their kids in suits. Like, I'm sorry, that's so Mormon. Family Dennis. vacation and you got them dressed up in a suit? Leave these fucking kids alone. Montana, you, are, you, you took them to Montana and made them put on a suit? Stop it. Maybe it's just a family photo. <laughs> People who do... F okay, I'm not going to say too much. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> This dude is glazed the fuck up like a damn donut. So all three sisters have channels. Oh, That's okay. really fucked up. That's so interesting. That's really fucked up. Let's find the other one. Yeah, so here's one. They, they cross-posted it, so here's the other one. Julia. Uh, let's check out if they're glazed up. Here they are. Here's the happy couple. Uh. I... That I see it. You said, let me see if I can find a more glazed photo. Here, this look. one, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He can't hide it. He's not good at hiding it. She does. She's glazed. <laughs> but he, he's not good at glazing up. He, you know what I mean? The wrinkles, mm. the eyes, something in him betrays the glaze. He's sneaking drinking coffee on the side there. <laughs> or maybe it's not. It's because he's not a perfect Aryan human being like all these other people we looked at. <laughs> Do they all have a bunch of children? That's part of the Mormon thing, too. Yeah, like pro-life. Just, yeah. Repopulate the earth, bro. Pro-life, pro-abuse. <laughs> right. Bro, you gotta have that baby so I can duct tie it up. And they're saying Bonnie. It. Bonnie's another influencer sister, so there's, there's another, another one. So there's a third one. And so that, that one wasn't involved in the statement. Here, let's check out this glaze. Where is Bonnie? Um, I think... This one's glazed. He's more glazed up here. <laughs> what? Oh, I can scroll? Get the wrong side. Wrong one. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't even like looking at these pictures of their kids. It's so intimate. I don't, you know what I mean? Right. Like, this is not for me. Bonnie's the one whose video was taken down. Oh. Oh, she made a video about it. Yeah. Where she said that um, she insists that the family did as much as they could. They're probably getting a lot of shit. But again, it's just, it's just, it makes, does make me wonder. You have to admit that the Daru crew vlogs, it's the Daru, I'm sorry, y'all made this, you made this banner. The Daru crew? Like y'all made this banner and put it up. The banner seems okay. <laughs> it's just, What's it's the glazed. The it is glazed. It is glazed. <laughs> That's what you want for a family vlog. You want it glazed up. Here, let's look at the, the newest, the, the most popular uploads. They're all. The Rue Crew is a is a catchy name too. I gotta say. Twenty four hours Rue. with a two month old, and then what happens after the twenty four hours? <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> twenty four hour challenge. You put it. You give it back. <laughs> oh, let's see the glaze. Let's see the glaze. All right, you ready to talk about baby names? Oh yeah. Oh hey, my god. Oh, it's the glazed version of us. You think so? Talking about baby names. Right. You guys have a different timeline. They had, look at the Jesus, so they're totally all about God. Yeah. Jesus said, Thou shalt duct tape thy child's legs and hands, and starve thy children if they disobey. Jesus said, Thou shalt force your kids into slavery. Make as much money from them as possible, Lord. And don't forget in Ezekiel 25, 7, where they said, Starve your children to death if they do not obey every command. You send in the wolf? Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Hope here said that the, the ruse are the most normal out of all the siblings, so let's look are at the Are these the ruse? Yeah. Our baby I just want to get this glaze on. The Drew Crew. Dude, you know who that guy kind of looks like? We thought it would be fun to... Hold on. This is your young Mitt Romney, who is also a Mormon glazer. Oh, shit. He looks just like Mitt Romney as a young man. Oh. Uh, a super Mor chat. Mor yeah. Ariel King said, Colleen's brother, Chris, has six kids and are still family vlogging. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. If you could make a list of all these successful family bloggers and you start making tie-in and seeing who they're involved with and what the fuck they've been up to, 
idiot. It just ain't right, man. It takes a special kind of parent. Because you know, in the, if you're sane, you know in the back of your mind that what you're doing is not, is not oh, good for that I child. I think they're in denial. They're convincing themselves that what, they're just like, they're seeing the money and they're Blood boiling, you know. I guess justifying they, in their head. They could rationalize, like I could just be with my kids all day, right? You know. Yeah. Let's see the glaze. Let's talk about our kids' names and where they came from, because a few of you have asked, and so we are going to start with Emma. Yep. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Just so judging y'all. It was personal for both of us, actually. When we met, we were working at an assisted living home as CNAs. And one of our favorite residents at this place was named Emma, um, and she was she was a fun lady. We got along with her family. This guy's glazed as shit. Let's name our daughter after you know the the fun lady. We loved her. <laughs> she, that's such a glazed answer. We, we love. We her. this is like the perfect life thing. We both were doing ch this wonderful charity, helping in assisted living, and we both <laughs> become best friends with this wonderful lady Emma. She changed our life. Let's see what she says. Really well, and we just loved her. We, we loved love her Emma. Her. Um, and then a few years after we stopped working there, she ended up passing away. And then Emma came along, and we just it just fit. It just, oh we just my knew. god! I think we knew like as we were taking care they of this resident. She, uh, I don't know. I try to keep. Like, Thou shalt profit off thy children, <laughs> Lord, and give them nothing. Set all the earnings into your bank account. And kick them out of the house when they turn 18, Lord. <laughs> Children were created for the benefit of the parents. And nothing more. Amen. <laughs> Get yourself a glizzy. <laughs> Feed your children only glizzies, for they are an affordable, good source of protein, Lord. <laughs> okay, so these are the normal ones? Yeah. That's what... I, I'm going off of what I read in chat. So then... So then, who's the third sister? Who's the most uh, unlikable one? Gotta except, be her. except for the main. Is I it Bonnie? It's bon Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these people's sister just got arrested for tying up and starving their kids, and they're just like, they're still they're like, listen. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that again. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you, there's going to be some questions. Damn. Yeah, let's look at Bonnie. Let's look at Bonnie Hullelin. Bonnie Hullelin. Oh shit. Okay. Let's take a look at her. So this is Bonnie. Look at this glaze. Ah oh, damn it, it's a video. And she just put out a statement about it, her latest post. Listen. Okay. Ah. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, they shared it. I see. Yeah. So awesome. Dude, I love that they included Once we do this, we will not be commenting on it further. Yeah. Off limits, guys. No more questions. We did our part. Now you shut, shut up. That works out when the subpoena comes. Shut up and consume right. our glazed yeah. content. The, the grand jury might be talking might about this for a while, actually. Yeah. Shut Actually, up. that might be good advice from your lawyer, because the FBI is definitely going to be coming. Right. Hopefully. Shut up! Now, just imagine, like, <clears throat> let's put this in another context. Let's say you have three brothers, same family, same line of work. One of the brothers, they work for the same company, they do the same job. What's your argument? Where are you going with that? One of the brothers gets arrested for... It's gonna get kind of dark if I keep going down this path. Yeah, I don't like this path already. But you know where I'm going. <laughs> oh, so one of the brothers it ends up to be like a serial killer. <laughs> okay. Now these people spent all day together. They knew each other. They were in the same line of work. You, th who do you think is gonna get questioned about that? Right. No more yeah. questions. No <laughs> questions. We won't be speaking on this. No, we won't be speaking about this any further. What's your argument? Yeah, we've known about this. They start by going, yeah, we've known about this. <laughs> For anyway, years. Anyway, no more questions. <laughs> anyway, normal content resuming tomorrow. Yeah.
No more questions, <laughs> please, guys. It's about the kids, please. Pretty good. So wait, where did um? She sent me her YouTube channel. It was right above that. Oh, I got it. Like right Thank you, that. Bonnie. Bunny. Oh, look oh, at that glaze. <laughs> See, that's a glaze Yo. banner. Dude, yeah. you need a podcast oh, banner wow. like this. I didn't have a problem with Drew oh. Cruz banner, but that is a glazed ass banner. Holy Shining, shit. shimmering, splendid. That's such phony bullshit. Yeah. Ain't no family really like that anywhere. The Rue's kind of need to step it up a little. Yeah, Ain't Bonnie's no all over the shit. 1.4 million. Velvet dresses. <laughs> so when did this drama all come out? Because she posted a video two days ago. It was literally it was, in the past few days. It, happened. it was either yesterday or I the day before. Did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's it's a new. Let's go by popular. I like to see what they were known for. Mermaid Cave. Are you gonna force your kids? It's... August thirtieth is when Ruby Frank. Oh no! Was they arrested. did a Jimmy Kimmel. I ate all my kids' candy, which I always found to be unreasonably cruel. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want to make my kids cry and be upset. That's the last thing I want to do, yeah. even as a joke. Get your bucket of candy. Let's go put it on my dresser. <laughs> that one's Boston's. I could this not do one. that. I didn't. I never liked this bit. He did. Mm -hmm. Not funny. Corey. Yep. And whose is this one? Olivia's. Olivia's. Yep. And this one's yours, right? Okay. Yep. You can have it in the morning when you wake up. Okay. 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 I have this one. Look you how have sweet that he sucker? is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Look how happy he is. Little bit of garbage. Okay. And he's a good boy <laughs> too. He gets the garbage to his mommy. Do you want your candy? Uh, my do you I don't even want to watch it. it. This was on Jimmy Kimmel. What are you talking about? Yeah. 24 million views. Damn. Aww. This is awesome. This is wholesome. Candy. Oh, my second. Let's go in my room and get it. Let's go get it. Psych! My bottom camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bottom camera. He's so okay. sweet. Sorry. Okay. I ate all of your Halloween candy. That's so cruel. I'm sorry. I don't like this. <laughs> dude, y'all. Candy is. Okay, got him, dude. Candy is literally life. It's everything. I don't know what it is. It's funny. Like, I mean, I was the same way. We all were. Candy is fucking the lifeblood of childhood. Like, Theodore is already preparing for Halloween, Yeah, you know? It's the <laughs> Alpha, the Omega, the Mother, the Ghost, the Father. It's mm -hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Kids are so dramatic. Okay, you can tell him now. Mm-hmm. Remember you drinking uh, me and I was kind of That is me. Yes. I didn't like that. Yeah, I bet you didn't. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Not nice. Even even in retrospect, this kid is like, I didn't like when you did that to me years ago. Boston, look what I have for you. <laughs> look, I didn't eat your Halloween candy. Look. Me, those are those are He's so sweet. I love him. <laughs> I see my boys. My, my yeah. Sucky. Yes. Can never yeah. do that. He's so ha look how happy he's beautiful. <laughs> Okay. I'll eat my Halloween candy. You can eat your Halloween candy. All right. No, don't try to make it sweet. You were mean for no damn reason. <laughs> but she was far from the only person doing that. There was a ton of yeah. people doing this. And sending it to Jimbo Kimball. Jimbo Kimball! With the beautiful amber eyes. He's a competitor now. You hear about that? Hmm. Him and all of the rest of the late night hosts are doing a podcast during the strike. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. We got, there's some new kids on the block. Wait, what? Up. Are they monetizing it? Uh, they're actually don It's actually nice. They're donating all the proceeds from it to the strike fund. That is their, or, uh -huh. uh, I think specifically to their own staff. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that they can pay cool. uh, their own staff while they're on hiatus. That's, because of the strike. that's great. We love that. So yeah, I guess we won't talk too much shit. But they are the competition now. So. Mm. Here they have... <sighs> L losing a loved one with the grant with the child crying in the thumbnail. That's just not something you necessarily mm, want to monetize. Not really. Making me a little uncomfortable. But so this is uh, the whole family's in on this. I mean, I've never heard of that though. I, like, where there's three mm -hmm. separate daughters and they're all family bloggers. That's super unusual. Uh. Here, this is it. By the way. Oh, that, that's cool. I like it. I got Strike Force 5. 
They got the whole crew. Hey, Jimmy, send me a video of you torturing your kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so pretty interesting, I guess, and very sad and tragic. And just another reason why family vlogs are a bunch of fucking bullshit. This is where they live? The hell? This is like... Yo, this is like where the really crazy Mormons live. They go out in the desert where like... They, they're totally isolated and can do anything they want. This is where the radical, the radical Mormons live. Frankie is known for a strict parenting style and then now defunct family channel 8 passengers. Has previously been reported to Child Protective Services. Here, I gotta, let's see her this wholesome ass shit she's doing. Let's hear you. Let's hear, I'm a parent, I, I, I always like to hear advice. Muted. God damn it! You got it. Yo, you got it. It's right there. There you go. Nice. Fucking hell. Right. <laughs> that, that child was severely malnourished, along with another one. They oh, so that kid had to go run for a long time. From and went yeah, to a neighbor's seriously. house asking for food and water. They said that that child was severely malnourished, they were along actually with at another Jody's one house. they found inside the same mm. home. Yeah. They were locked up in her in Jody's house. Yeah, they were at the business partner's house. Oh man, that's even what? weirder, yeah. more fucked up. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So I wonder if she did that to evade scrutiny. She kept them punished in her friend's house. We gotta oh, keep. Uh, it's. They're filming in her in their own house. I can't even. Yeah, imagine. one's for the one's the whole. It's the yin yang. Right. One is for happily good times. The other one's for torture. <laughs> you know, just yeah. like the yin yang. Like yep. I can't even imagine what they were doing. The more we learn, the more like crazy and like unbelievable it gets. So this many, is her partner's house or the kids were? It was were? her, yeah, the, the woman she ran connections with. Dude, it's literally out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I don't, is it? Now we yes, to dude, I'm like telling you. Uh... Dude, I've seen enough Mormon cr true crime documentaries. I know exactly where this is. <laughs> this is out where they do, like, polygamy and shit. Well, that's, you're, yeah, you're talking about the fundamentalists. I, I don't think that well, they're, Well, it's like, just people who want lots Mormon. of privacy. Why do they want so much privacy? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I like my privacy. I don't like it that much. <laughs> I like to live, move out into the desert of Utah, boy. Not a soul within 10 miles. It's gotta be so far that kids could not run out of home. Just out of screenshot of a little child. I like that kind of privacy, you know? Scream and scream and ain't nobody hear you. <laughs> now that's privacy. Mm-hmm. Gunshot might ring out. Hell, in the middle of the night. Ain't nobody gonna hear that. That's real privacy, understand me? Ain't nobody driving by? Um, some people in chat are saying that it's not in nowhere. <laughs> yeah, okay. I-, I Alright, whatever, just let me- just, <laughs> who, who cares what, what, what like, the truth I, I, is. I know what you're talking about just with those communities. Just for the sake of information. Yeah. Hold on, look at this- look at this. Really really what I'm seeing. I think lots of places well. in Utah just but look like that, my dude. With a woman who has gained- That's true. I think that's no. just Utah. That's Salt true. Lake City, bro. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's some of the, a huge some of the stuff there look like that. With YouTube videos getting hundreds of thousands of views. So being a mom's a full-time job, but popular Utah family vlogger Ruby... Being a mom's a full-time job, but sometimes you, you neglect your younger child and they shit and piss themselves for days before you change them. Mm -hmm. And you tell them they stink. Right. <laughs> like it's their fault they stink. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie was arrested Wednesday. The 41-year-old mother of six is known for sharing clips of her children's daily lives on their now defunct YouTube channel, A Passengers. Today, she and her business partner, Jody Hildebrand, are accused of abusing some of them. What? what was that? Yeah, what? Is you that guys the got audio? double audio. It's not me. Yeah. No, I, I think it's them. Did NBC fuck Oh, that, that was them? I think, I think so. so. Someone in the control room was Holy just like, hey, oopsie. hey, everybody, hey, hey. Oopsie. I want to check. Audio. Audio, audio, audio. My audio. was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think her viewers Oh, it's know the... That. Somebody's asking her questions. Sleeping on a beanbag. I'm sleeping on a beanbag. Is that his voice? And they gave my room back like two weeks ago. Police say yeah. a clearly malnourished 12-year-old child crawled out of the window of Hildebrand's Ivan's area home. A neighbor called 911 when he showed up at their house asking for food and water. 
Officers say his wrists were duct taped. He had wow. wounds from being tied up across his body. Investigators say they found a 10 year old girl inside the same house who was also malnourished. Frankie's family vlogs ended without a go. specific reason given. Dude, that's the middle of goddamn. It's not. I just, well, I mean, listen, where, where's it's your all, neighbor? It's all. Re <laughs> it, it's all relative. No, 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 no. Compared no, no. to, but no. She, they just said Ivan's in neighborhood in St. George, Utah. I'm look. I just picked a random street on Street View. People in chat are saying, here, here's one. I'm looking at this house. My family lives there. Look, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's not. This is this is Ivan's St. George, Utah, okay? Well, she got the most isolated-ass house in that neighborhood. We can't see. There's nobody! <laughs> it's fucking wild, The point is, it's, it's the wild, wild earth. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's, this, this is not. This is not their this is like God's uh, natural earth. Yeah, this is Butch Cassidy's uh, hideout in the canyons of Utah. <laughs> Go all the way to the canyon. That's where she lives. <laughs> all the way out off the beaten path. I trail. tell you what, going man, down this road, man. I want to take that road real deep. We're going real down. We're going See, down. See, look at this. Pretty much hundred percent of the chat are disagreeing, and they're saying, "What do you guys? Is not nowhere. You guys don't know hey, everyone. Anything. They live there. <laughs> Every, everyone watching. Everyone in the room." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we got this real deep line. <laughs> Nobody here. You scream around here, brother. Where are the houses? Look Somebody to the. Look, here that's said... the house. <laughs> exactly. It's in a, there's no houses for miles. <laughs> this is, well, this isn't like middle of nowhere, nowhere. This Dude, is they don't have neighbors like. within a mile. It's like there's okay. places in Santa Clarita like this. Hold you on, know go, what I mean? go, go, keep going down the street. <laughs> Somebody here said, "Bet there's a Walmart down the street." Yeah, yeah. Almost Cage certainly. and Chad says, says right. "I literally live here." All of you that is the middle of nowhere. I'm just telling you, that's someone that lacked their privacy. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's not somewhat remote. Obviously, it is. If you live in Utah, you're inherently somewhere remote, but it's got a not nice like private out. Middle of fucking nowhere. Mm. Nice. I don't like to hear the neighbors, and I'll tell you, I don't like the neighbors to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different kind of life out here. Private or life, secret or life. Oh, God. What goes on under our roof ain't no one's business, but our own. Right. Sometimes in the winter, the wind whip up. Boy, you could run a jet engine. Now, ain't nobody hearing it. Sometimes I thought I heard my mama in the wind sometimes in the winter. Still haunting me. What she done to me when I was a kid. Now I'm the powerful one, Mama. I only wish I had a chance to return the favor. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I don't like that. I tell you, sometimes uh, the wind whip up real into a frenzy. Could hear the voices, Mama. Oh, yeah. My little... Jeff's family vlog. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh fuck no. <laughs> yeah, this is what was this, this is glazed. <laughs> this one was crazy. Yeah, it's the yes. fundamentalist Mormon. <sighs> yeah, this is the actual version sweet, of what you're talking about. Stay yeah, sweet or something. Oh yes. yes. Yeah. Something like that, dude. That's, we watched this together. You remember? Did I watch this? Keep, I'm trying to remember. Maybe keep you, sweet, pray and obey. Yeah. That's the one. What? What? Keep, keep sweet, sweet, pray and obey. Mm. So he had a massive family and he was just like a prolific born uh, jeffs child r wordist basically mm -hmm. this guy hell yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. the and jeff then, i was being sarcastic and then oh, his, who his, his his boys were also <laughs> doing guy. it like he had one boy his first <sighs> who was also being groomed to take over and he was also <sighs> and then in the community they used little virgin girls as like all as right. bargaining tokens. Jesus Christ. They would marry them off for favors. And they could have as many wives as they wanted. He had 78. Exactly. Mm. So it doesn't mean anything. It just means that he gets to do whatever he wants to her, basically. Mm. And she can't do anything. That's it. You know what I'm saying? The more That's what goes on, people. It's good to know. I mean, this is fucking nuts. There's shit out there. And these, de and these here deserts... <laughs> Going on down there, boy. Ain't no tumbleweed. Ain't the only damn thing tumbling. It's the cries of the children. And what we doing? 
I really need to take you out to travel and see America. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I we tell you, man, of the, uh, you don't know this, but the outskirts of Utah, the murder capital of the world. <laughs> yeah, this is the America you want to show me? <laughs> yeah. That's America. It's in mom and dad. Duct tape in the basement. Don't give them food. That's America. That's America to me. Inner sanctum of the Mormon church. Weird things happening just for me. All right. All right. All right. We don't need having multiple wives. Thank you. <laughs> oh, damn. You just slowly synced me. <laughs> 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 um, so we covered everything. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, obviously this woman's a fucking demon. Someone needs to look closely at her sisters. I think they need to probably just, they need to make a, a vertical leap My there and do a new profession. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I don't think there's a wholesome family vlog by definition. It's not. It's not okay. You know, I'm sorry. Some people like the wholesome family content. If you're using kids for content, it's not okay. It's just not, man. Kids loved Hitler. He had 78 wives. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I didn't even gonna read that, man. Yeah. So what else? 420. Almost 420. What do you want to eat? Oh, man, it's 420, man. We gotta bring the Rasta to the Utah outskirts. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta bring the Jamaican medicine to the outskirts of Utah. <laughs> we say no, 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 no to polygamy. It's fucking nice out. We say yes, 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 yes to getting high with me. No child, no cry. <laughs> <laughs> Mama can't hurt you no more. Out here, Amish smoking big doinks. Rasta. No glaze, no crime. No glaze, no crime. 